Hello dear pilots, to the next episode how to play, and another tier 8 bomber German JU-288C. Historically, the first prototype of this machine was ready in mid-1940s. The plane would be like twice better than other bombers at the time, twice of the bomb load than JU-88, increased range allowed to attack any point of the British Islands, a much better automated defense weapons, a remotely control, thanks to which it was possible to obtain much better fire zones, but all these depended on delivering a new, much more powerful engine, Jumo 222, and these unfortunately were not delivered on time. The first prototypes flew on proven but not much weaker BMW 801 engines. On top of that, complicated landing gear uh, of the plane also caused uh, problems. The first flight quality uh, 222 engines did not arrive until October 1941 and even then it was clear that they were um, nowhere even to be close f uh, to full-scale production. Continuing problems prevented the plane from entering the serial production and only 22 machines were built. At the end of the war the German ass was actually at fire so they equipped those bombers with defenses uh, weapons and put them into service as a reconnaissance bombers on the Western Front. Very few missions were flown uh, due to shortage of the fuel supplies, spare parts and uh, unsolved problems with the aircraft power plant and undercarriage. Back into the game and before I'm gonna show you gameplay from this machine, let's compare two other three bombers and they are B-29C, RB-17 and Tu-10. Let's start from bombs. We have eight bombs drop one at a time, thanks to which is easier for us to flip over sectors. We can destroy more targets in one pass, specifically ground targets. Each bomb takes 5,000 damage. Cumulative damage is 40,000. Best result on tier 8, except the B-29C. Let's move to defense armament. The rare gunner operates 15mm cannon at the rear and the heavy 13mm machine guns at the top and on the, on the bottom of the fuselage and plus one on the front under the pilot's cabin. It is powerful defense armament compared to other tier 8, of course, uh, but not compared to B-29C, which is of course overpowered. Uh, but this is in theory and in it depends on the situation, because in practice JU-288 is not the fastest and the, the range of the defense armament is much smaller than in RB-17. And these factors are important, specifically if we want to defend ourselves against heavy fighter. 15mm cannon have range of 800 meters, and uh, 13mm heavy machine guns has range of 700. So I will put it this way, against heavy fighters, despite the considerably firepower, it is difficult to defend ourselves. But uh, the defense against light fighters and multi role fighter is going to be looking like this. Light fighters need to take it seriously. In our favor is as well amount of HP, which is very good, 1650 HP points better than RB and uh, TU-10, of course it's not more than B-29, but let's finish talk about this broken plane, fortunately not even available at the game at the moment. Now let's go to the speed, uh, top speed is 680 km per hour, of course on optimum altitude, uh, it's not bad but not even close to RB-17. Now plane has great altitude characteristic, but at the high altitude bombing becomes inaccurate and speeds drop significantly as well, so I prefer bombing at low altitude, uh, at least it's bombing more effective. And now we'll see what the German engineer's work can do in practice.
It's only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it and uh, you can look forward for more episodes soon. Please leave a like if you like it. Uh, I wish you good battles and see you soon guys.